time for a new wing. The old wing that I had on the Civic was something that I made, as you guys can see right here. But I decided to uh, make another one, a different style, a little bit bigger. Um, you know, they really don't sell a lot of uh, wings and stuff like that for the EFs. And if you do find one, you know, they're pretty expensive. But I like to make my own stuff for the car and, you know, make it custom for what I like, you know, design it how I want. But I drew up a sketch on my iPad Pro with the uh, Procreate app, and then I went ahead and brought the sheet metal from Lowe's. It cost me, I think it's like 30 bucks, 35 bucks. And I already uh, drew out a template and everything and started cutting away. Some of the edges are a little rough right now just because I used some metal shears, but I'm gonna clean all that up, probably with a grinder. Uh, and then drill holes in it. And uh, also, you know, give it a nice, good bend right around here. But I also got these here rods today for uh, the support rods that's going to hang off on the back. And I think it's just quarter inch. Also, this extra piece of metal because I'm going to extend the uh, the sides out down a little bit more. I'll show you guys the picture. I just picked up some uh, some hardware. This stuff right here. I'm gonna mod these so that way I can use it for uh, the support rods. I got a couple of uh, nice little nuts. Some more hardware, drill bit. Yeah, let me show you what I did on the iPad. This is the app, Procreate. And I just did some, I took a picture of my car and I just kind of drew on it. But this is uh, the way it was looking before with the old wing. See if I can focus. Real simple looking, but it looked good. I got a lot of compliments on that. And it didn't cost a lot to build it. It was sturdy, real sturdy. And I'll show you the new one. So you see that? That's the look I'm trying to create. So I went ahead and uh, bent the, uh, the sides. Just gonna mount up to the car. You can see that there's a couple of uh, creases and stuff, but uh, I'll make all that flat. I'll hammer that flat. It's kind of hard to uh, bend a sharp angle like this when you don't have a press, but that's how it looks now. It's not too bad. I'll just hammer it out, it'll look fine. And now that I got that bent, this is my template. I'm gonna cut a smaller section of metal for here. I had to do it in two parts like that because uh, this uh, Lowe's where I got the metal from, they didn't have a long enough sheet to where I could make it all out of one piece. So I figured I'll just make it out of two pieces and I'll rivet it so it'll look nice. So I just cut the template to give you guys a better uh, view on how it's gonna look. So I just used uh, my Sharpie and I outlined my template twice, once this way and then I flipped it over to make the other side because I'm going to need two because there's two sides to the uh, to the wing. Now I'm just going to cut it out. These metal shears, they're pretty good. Alright, so I cut the metal out with those shears and um, this is how it looks. I'm going to put a couple of holes along here and then I'm just going to rivet it. After I clean this whole thing up and get all the shapes correct uh, or nice and straight, I'll probably go ahead and paint this. Not sure on the color yet, maybe black. But yep, that's how it's looking. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm on my way right now to the hatch. I'm gonna do a test fit with the wing. I got it right there in the back. Uh, let's see how that goes. It's a nice day out. It's actually pretty chilly. Uh, not really chilly. This is Florida. We don't really get chilly, so I'm lying about that. But it's probably like, uh, I don't know, 68 degrees out. It feels good. Yeah, I definitely lied. I just used my phone to check the weather app and it's actually uh, 62 degrees out right now. Woo! Race weather. It's like 10 extra horsepower right there when it gets cold out. Shit, I can't wait. All right, just got to the car. 
Damn, this shit looks ugly without a wing. I could never drive that in the street like that. <laughs> Material. All right, so here's how it's looking now. I just have it held up with two screws for right now, just so that way I can kind of get everything mocked up and see what adjustments I need to make. I gotta cut, trim this out a little bit better, and then this is where I'm gonna rivet the holes. And then I have my uh, support rods just kind of chilling with some tape right now, just so I can get a feel for how it's gonna look and what adjustments I need to make to continue fabricating this. Trying to give you guys an all around look. So far, so good. All right, so I'm back at the hatch and made some more adjustments to the wing. It's getting a little closer. But right now, I came back out here to do another test fit since I got all of this right here cut and uh, riveted in. Still need to trim this up a little bit so that way it's all nice and even. This right here, I'm gonna cut out today. And I went and I got this aluminum angle and just drilled holes in it and riveted it into the top to make this nice and strong. Right now, it's only bolted up to the top with just these two screws, one here and then one on the other side. But for the most part, you can see this thing is solid. And then I got my uh, support rods. I screwed in there with some brackets that I made. Everything's just kind of loose because I'm just doing a test fit. But I'm going to mark down here where I'm going to cut it at so that way I can make the same brackets and put them down here and then bolt those to the car. Same thing on this side. But yep, this is how it's looking so far. Show you from the side. All of this right here is just gonna sit flush. You guys can see it's a little lifted. All that's gonna sit nice and solid, flat down. And then here I got holes. Because if you guys know the EFs, you see how it's got this, this lip right here on the stock wing. Oh, I'm gonna cut another slit in it like I did my old wing that I made. So that way this whole piece can flex down and sit closer to the car. That'll help with the uh, aerodynamics a little bit better. And it won't be drag, because it'll all be flat. All right, so I went and I had these mounted up and then I marked my adjustment to where I wanted to cut the rod because the rods were a little long. So I marked it and then I cut them. I cut just a little piece off the end, probably about three quarters of an inch. And then I went ahead and took a Sharpie and marked a dot because I'm gonna use my center punch and uh, notch that real quick or whatever. So that way I can drill a hole through it just like I did on this side. All right, so I went and hit that with the center punch. Get it to focus. I don't know if y'all can see that right in the middle of the screen. But yeah, the reason why you wanna hit it with the center punch is because for one, this is a, uh, a cylinder type rod uh, but the center punch creates an indent in the metal so that way the drill bit isn't walking around 
all over the surface it helps so that way you can uh, create accurate holes where you want them so you should always uh, center punch your metal before you start drilling center punch it and then use a smaller bit and do like a pilot hole and then upsize to a larger bit if you need to make a bigger hole so I finished up those uh, support rods I drilled the hole through the rod and then ran a bolt coming through screwed my brackets into the car these are just dummy screws I'm gonna switch these out for some bolts later with some um, lock nuts on the end of them and some lock washers but yeah this thing is solid right now and it's just mounted you know here and here same thing on both of these sides and then one screw here and one screw over there I'm gonna hold it back and try to show you guys I mean you see the freaking car is moving and it's not even fully uh, bolted up so it's strong you know just by adding that one angle iron piece of aluminum angle aluminum it really stiffened it up and then I still have to bolt it all along there and maybe run some more rivets because this thing is just mounted to the stock wing Let's see it's looking nice so far I'm gonna paint it up after I finish detailing it making all of these lines nice and straight I cut this out I trim that up on that side and this side over here and then also to those creases that I was showing you guys early before I worked those out with a hammer there's still a slight crease right here I could feel feel but other than that it's pretty smooth Homemade wing.